Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can make low poly pine trees very very quickly in Blender. Keep in mind this is episode 1 of making trees in Blender so there will definitely be uh, episode 2, 3, 4 and so on coming out uh, sometimes later. If you are a beginner this is great for you because it's a very easy tutorial. I have even enabled screencast keys down here so you can follow that. So first thing you want to do is press shift A and then uh, go mesh and add a cylinder. Now this cylinder, uh, mine has 8 vertices, that's because I adjusted it but your, yours should come with like 32 or something. I want you to go down here and uh, set that to like 6 or uh, to 8 or to like 12. You, you can choose how much detail you want. Uh, most of the times I go just with 8. Now if you want your tree to be exa exactly at this middle point, you can press shift tab and then you can enable um, a snap during transform. And then if you press G and Z, you, you can just move it to the center and it's gonna be exactly at center. And then press shift control alt C and origin to 3D cursor. Now our origin is set to here and that's very good. If for some reason your um, your uh, 3D, 3D cursor is like here or here or here or here or anywhere around, uh, you can just press Shift C and it's gonna center it and then you can do the uh, Shift Control Alt C origin to 3D cursor. What I like to do is scale it up, down a bit. You can now disable this uh, snap during transform. And what I like to do is go into edit mode and add a few loop cuts. So one right here in the middle and then scale it down. So just scale this down and maybe move it up a bit. And then press E to extrude. And then you can rotate this. You can actually go back here and just scale it and rotate it. And then go to this um, upper face and just do the same thing. And then extrude, rotate, scale. Do the same thing again, scale, rotate, extrude, scale, rotate. You can see we got a pretty nice tree trunk right here. Now we're gonna use that as a reference because we're gonna add in, go shift A, mesh, a cone. And also I like to set the vertices count to 8 because I think it's low poly enough. So you wanna move that up. And kind of center it here. You can scale it down a bit if you want to. I am going to do that, something like this. Then go into edit mode, select this lower face right here, and um, then press E to extrude, but then right click so it just returns it back. Scale, and it's going to scale this kind of circle. What you want to do now is extrude and scale again. If you look, you can see that looks kind of like a pine tree. You can rotate it if you want and then do the same thing again. And this is how you get your shape. Do the same thing again. Extrude, scale. Extrude again, scale, move it down. And maybe one more, one small one right there. Okay, this, this one might be too big, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold Alt and then right click somewhere around here and it should select this uh, these bottom faces right there and move that a bit up, rotate it, scale it and that looks about right. If you're gonna use this in a game, we want to do some optimizing, so select the tree trunk and then go to uh, edit mode and go to face select mode and delete this bottom face right here. Hide this object right here, so select it and H for hide. Go into edit mode and um, select the select some faces, so these upper faces that are hidden by the leaves and go X and delete faces. If you press Alt H now, uh, sorry Alt H, you can see that everything looks exactly the same but it's more optimized now. And then just select both pieces, Control J to join them together. And then 
you want to add some materials. So go into edit mode and by hovering over a face and pressing L, it's gonna select this, uh, it's gonna select the leaves, so just the leaves, not the trunk. And then you can go to materials, add a new one, call this one, I don't know, leaves, mat, like that. And then you select the tree trunk by hovering over a face and again pressing L. And now it's selected just the tree trunk, add a new material, call this tree trunk mat. And then you can just, you, you have to press assign here to make it work. And you can change the color of the trunk, something like that. And then change the color of the leaves to like a dark green, something like that. If you don't want this blocky look, kind of you can see the vertices and everything, just go to edit mode, select everything with A, go to shading, UVs right here, and go faces and say smooth, and now they're all kind of smoothed out. And that has been it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you want to see some other trees. As I said, I'm probably going to be making like oak and birch and uh, stuff like that. And definitely subscribe so you don't miss, uh, miss the next episode. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.